I'm kind of nervous, bro. I've never done this shit before. But the lady who's working here seems super chill. Stupid ass, I didn't bring a spare shorts. I'm gonna wear my undies. At least I have spare undies though, but let's do this. Are you here for traveling? Or you traveling, yeah, just like two weeks. And then, yeah. Hey, beams. Yeah. But for the feet, you cannot avoid it. Yeah, of course. But like yeah. after one minute, you will yeah, yeah. feel uh, a lot better. Yeah. We're jumping again, bro. Fuck this shit. Oh. <laughs> Much easier the second time, bro. Wow. Let's finish with the ice bath. Crazy experience. I wasn't expecting that level of shock, bro, for sure. It's my feet. I think I lasted four minutes in the first session, which was nothing, I guess. And then. I went in like three more times for like one minute each. Feel really good now, the muscles feel great, time to eat. Another day here in Bangkok and I am just waiting for a grab which I think has just arrived. made it to, in my opinion, the greatest place in the world to go to during the daytime. This is Bang Sui Junction. Fucking go, bro. This place is known for having, I think, four or five levels worth of different types of goods. So I think the first two levels are kind of antiques and jewelry and stuff like that. And I'm meeting my boy, my Mike, somewhere around here. I think his mates too. So I'm just going to be looking for them now. Bro. Honestly insane. I never get tired of this shit bro. Jewelry here. From cold pork. Uh, just want food and street food and shit. Just finished lunch now, looking for some teas. I think we're on the fifth floor at the moment. Crazy pricing bro, but 390 is pretty good. This steezy guy right here, bandana. Nice. Best dressed guy in Auckland. Yeah, yeah shit, yeah, shit. What a sorry guy. We're at the shop called Sunbeam Shakes, one of the cool kind of tea shops here. 50 baht, 100 baht, I think 200 baht here. Real good deals. Got the vintage tea uh, connoisseur right here as well, so we're in good hands, you know, we're in good hands. Harley, green tea. Wish it was a bit more faded, but... <laughs> Checking out another t-shirt shop called Nof, N-O-F, and see what we can find here. Try on this tea. Might crop it again, it's a bit long. Just landed in Fuzhou here in China and I'm kind of trying to figure out my next plans. It's around I think 11.30 at the moment and my next flight is 9, 10 a.m. tomorrow. So like I know there's a capsule hotel I think here in the airport but I don't know how it works though. Do I get my bags or do I not? So got to figure it out. And some nice person put my luggage out already because I'm the fucking last guy anyway. So just got out and first thing I see is a Macca's bro. So I don't know if I can sleep there. So I, I think I found like a capsule hotel around here. Maybe stay there from like midnight to 6 a.m. Go come back to the airport and then check in, do all my shit, and then get back to Tokyo. Hopefully there's some space, bro. Let's see, eh? Hi, uh, I'd like to get a capsule room. <laughs> bro, this shit is random. the spot, you know, casual. Didn't have the best sleep in the capsule, but made it to the flight and I'll see you in Tokyo, bro. Back in Tokyo and definitely missing Bangkok, actually. I had such a great time in Bangkok, but also good to be back in the greatest city in the world. And I thought I'd dedicate part of this or this part of the vlog to two sort of suburbs pretty much in the same vicinity that I feel are really underrated places to go to, to hang out, but also to thrift and go vintage shopping too. So let's go. I thought I'd start off, of course, as we usually do on the channel with a bit of coffee and I'm outside a place called Sidewalk Stand. And if you've seen my other vlogs, you know there's a branch in Nakamegaro. But I think from my understanding, this is the original branch. So I might check it out, get a coffee, 
and uh, maybe get some food as well. Right, so I've just made it to a part of Utenji, well, I guess it's called Utenji Shopping Street, kind of this main sort of typical Japanese Tokyo style shopping street that has different shops, establishments, and I've got my loop over here too. And I think this one here is called Holiday Works, and from memory, this is more of a female shop. And then I think this, I don't even know if it's related, but so I highly recommend checking these two places out. Just got out of Holiday Works, couldn't really film inside, but yeah, it's mainly women's stuff, women's sizing, vintage champion, vintage sportswear, that type of genre of clothing. And made outside the next shop, it's not a thrift or vintage shop, it's called Feats. It's got really good stuff, some really good incense and kind of homeware as well. Sort of made it to the end of Utenji Shopping Street. The train station is just over there. There's a Matsuya, there's a Family Mart as well. And the last couple stores, I think the sister stores too, pretty much next to each other are Newport Vintage and a place called Arms Clothing as well. So I think they're both on level two. Looks like it's open. This is, I think it's the same stuff. There's one store here and then there's one here. Said the guy, oh, is that close to Shimokitazawa? Oh, so yeah, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're both owned by the same person, the same boss. Tried on a few things, very good. The Utenji station in the street I was on is just down to the left. I've biked a bit to the next shop called Ribbit. And I don't think I've actually been here before, but it looks decent, decent stuff, the type of genre of clothing, so. Might give it a geese, see what they have, what are the prices like. 3k for that, Wrangler shirt. Not bad to be honest with you. Another Wrangler shirt here. 4k, not bad. This is really good actually. So a lot cheaper than I would have thought. And pop that shirt. Literally a perfect fit, which I love about old clothes, but for some reason they just fit my body a lot better. Sizing wise, material wise, silhouette wise. 4K, not bad. Just made it outside the next shop, and honestly, this is supposed to be one of the better ones in today's vlog ski, but I think it's closed for some reason. What time is it now? Uh, it's only 4.18, so I think they're open at 5. <clears throat> and these guys are open sometimes until 1 a.m. sometimes, which is crazy. Made it to an area pretty much next to Utenji, the next station next to Utenji called Gaku Gaku Day. Looks like they have a Trayfax style here, which I had no idea about. And if you've seen my video, 10 of the best vintage shops to go to in Tokyo Part 2, Trayfax style is one of those branches you should definitely go to. There's a sign up there that says you can't film. I've been told to stop filming many times, so I won't film, but definitely recommend checking this place out. The thing I really love about Gakudai and also Utenji as well, as we walk, <laughs> there's a second, another second street here. Um, but the thing I love about them, they're really quiet, sort of more residential. Yeah, they have these sort of shopping streets and stuff. I guess the inspiration for this vlog was, I don't know, to show people, or show the viewers just different areas you could go to outside of the Shibuyas, outside of the, you know, the Shinjukus, the Asakusas, blah blah blah, so. Pretty tired, so probably gonna call it a day, but I thought I'd get some food, drink a little bit at this place called Daruma Honten. Super cool location, I was here with my boy Daichi last night, and I'm uh, just gonna get some food, bro. Got some cabbage. Some jellyfish, lemon sour, of course. In Nakamegaro, pretty much, yeah, to check out the cherry blossoms, which is crazy, but also to catch up with one of my boys who I've actually never met in person before, Tatsuki. He's here from Sydney in Tokyo. And if you don't follow him on Instagram or YouTube, highly recommend you do. Probably create some of the best edited 
content that I've seen on the gram and on YouTube as well. So I'm gonna link up with him soon. I think one of his mates too. So let's go. We're here at a place called Henry's Burgers, kind of in Daikanyama, Ebisu. No one does that, bro. 